and Jacqueline. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to the 100 rep bar sculpted leg challenge. We are having so much fun. So make sure that you download your guide if you haven't yet. There should be a bar that comes out. You can download the guide and calendar and follow along or if you're just popping in for this single class, you are going to love it as well. Okay, so today we've got the cha-cha and I'm going to show you what it is, but make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet so that you can get the notification of every single one of these videos in this challenge. Plus, I release a new workout every single week. So hit that subscribe button and get on your mat and let's start moving and sculpting those beautiful legs. All right, so we're going to begin on our hands and knees, joint stacking everything up. So shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, arms are strong like pillars. Now, we are going to take this right leg, it's going to come out into a diagonal. Imagine there's a clock around you, that's around four or five o'clock. Now, when you come out to the diagonal, we're aiming for the glute med right here. The glute med is um, a really important muscle in your body that's going to help you improve your performance, your walking, your running, things like that. Now we're gonna take this knee, we're going to tuck it all the way up and under. We're gonna actually touch our opposite elbow. So yeah, we're gonna start using our arms and core, a little bonus section of this challenge, and you're going to extend it out, all right? So I know as you start to get tired, this might kind of get sloppy, but I'll be here to remind you to stay on track. So let's get started. You ready? And actually, I'm gonna start with my left leg because our left leg gets so under, <laughs> overshadowed by the right. Okay, starting with the left leg, here we go. Cross and reach, cross and reach, nice. Four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, beautiful. doing this exercise, I want you to think about your arms. What are your arms doing? Keep those arms nice and strong, especially as the knee comes in, keep the arms strong and almost push the floor away further. So you're creating this space for the knee to fit into. And you're at the same time strengthening your triceps, you're strengthening your shoulders, your lats. So we're sculpting that upper body plus you're also using the left obliques right now. So you're definitely having to use the obliques to pull the knee in, right, across the body like that. So you're using those external and internal obliques, which of course is going to make you stronger and more toned. Beautiful. You're doing so good. I know this is not easy, but you are so strong. Okay, that's halfway. Let's do a little halfway break. Just take those hands, roll them out. Give your wrists a nice little break. You could always shake out the wrists. There's a lot of pressure that happens here, but they are getting stronger. Know that the more that you put your hands down, the more they're getting uh, stronger. All right, here we go. Not too bad this one, right? I love this because it's working our whole body and you really get to work on your form. Think about your posture. Your back muscles are definitely working here, although you might not really notice it, but they are definitely working to move that leg in and out. Like I said before, we're using our external and internal obliques. So continue to pull that belly in towards the spine as the knee comes across the body.
Okay, last 20 here. Begin to check in with your form. I noticed my shoulders were starting to get a little wonky as I started to get tired. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! Wow. Okay. That's a lot, but we've got the other side to do, and you are so strong, so never forget that. Use your breath as a way to power yourself up again. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the other side and reach the leg out. If you ever need to, um, you could always take the mat and fold it up underneath your knee so that you can um, support the standing knee so that you're not feeling too much pressure there. So this one is kind of tricky to navigate because you're going across the body. So we're using a lot of different angles. You're going across the body here and then you're extending out at a diagonal, not straight behind you, but out at a diagonal. The hip bones, the ASIS should be pointing downward the whole time, okay? So I'm not opening up like this, right? Not kind of doing something wonky with my hips. My hip bones are staying straight down towards the floor. My shoulders are nice and sturdy the whole time. And if you feel the supporting knee or the supporting hip fatiguing, that is totally normal because it's supporting, right? It takes a lot of work to support your body. So we're really working both legs here at the same time. Okay, we've got our little halfway mark. <sighs> Take a breather. We can do this. We can do hard things, okay? The time will pass and we will feel that much better once we get through it. Okay, last 50, no big deal, right? You just gotta make it not a big deal in your mind and then it becomes not a big deal in your body. So that's how it works. I'm definitely using my breath. My breath is supporting me. If you hold your breath, it's going to make it 10 times harder. So make sure that you are breathing in and out through your nose. I'm also really conscious about my hands. I'm not letting my hands kind of dump into my wrists. I'm still putting a lot of weight into my fingers and that helps to distribute the weight. You could always use actual like dumbbells here if it's too much for your wrists and hands. Okay, we've got 20 more. I know, my knee kind of started to go to here instead of my knee. Let's try to do it all the way, 20 times. 20, oops, I just hit my own elbow, 19. And 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, almost there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, And one, we did it. 
We are so strong. I am so proud of you. Great job. And I will see you on the next one. That was amazing. I am so proud of you. Make sure that you check in with me using hashtag StretchyFit100 so I can see your beautiful face and body doing all this amazing work. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel right here so I can continue to bring more free challenges and workouts to you. Now, if you are looking for an at-home workout program, then download my Stretchy Fit app. Join me in there and the rest of the community because you get a new workout every single day. Tons of variety with bar, yoga, hit workouts. It's amazing and you will stay consistent the way that the app is designed because you get a new workout every day and you get a program to check into and you can stay accountable. It is awesome and you will see your body goals come to life. It is amazing. Okay, I love you so much. Great job today and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.